How you doing? Welcome back to the Palooka Watch Channel. <laughs> this is a thorn. It is a homage to the Blanc Pond dive watch. It came out like 1952-53. It was called the Aqualung. It was the first dive watch that you could actually buy. And Thorne did a pretty decent job on specs with this watch. Uh, we're going to go over that, talk about a few other things here. I mean, one of the things I'm just learning about what I like is I like these classic designs. I love the bubble crystal, and I really like the framed bezel insert where there's a, a metal ring here. This all happened because, okay, quick wrist check, bam, right? This, this is, I don't know, man, as far as aesthetics go, it's my favorite Seiko, I think. And again, this has the bubble crystal. And this is what they call the 55 Fathoms. It's a nickname because clearly they took inspiration from this early watch. Now, I, I recently got this watch in the mail, uh, well, a couple weeks ago. And I've been trying to get it here, uh, do a little review for you on it. It's, uh, as I said, it's a thorn. It comes in a box just like the AliExpress, or excuse me, um, Addy's Dive or Steel Dive. And it is an AliExpress watch. It was $100. It's a stainless steel case. It's got drilled lugs. It's a bead blasted case. You can see it's, a, it's supposed to be a sapphire bubble crystal there. <clears throat> Super tiny crown, but that's original to the specs. Before I picked this one up, I was online and I found this watch. Now this is the True North version of the Torneck Revell, which was a watch that the Navy SEALs wanted. Let me wipe that off. Uh, they won that around 1962. So they did a bunch of tests and the Blanc Pond won, but because it was not an American made watch, there was a bunch of little things that happened. So this guy, uh, Torneck, went over there and dealt with Blanc Pond. They put his name on the dial and they were able to sell it uh, to the U.S. military. So I, I picked this one up, and, you know, it, it doesn't have a screw-down crown. It's just a push-pull, so the water resistance isn't as much. It's not a true dive watch. I did a review on it, and it's a nice watch. It's, it's great, but I wanted to just compare it to one that was closer to the original Blanc Pond, and you can see these things are pretty close. I'm going to break out the calipers. We're going to go over these dimensions and the back cases and everything else real quick for you so you know what you're looking at. The thing about this uh, one here, the thorn, is with this crown. It is a locking crown, but it is so tiny. I mean, it's dainty. So trying to get this locked and unlocked, it's, it's, if you have you know, thicker fingers like me, it's, boy, my hands. I've been working up on a roof for a week and a half putting in a skylight and I've been last couple days I've been dealing with tar and everything else so I'm, my hands are a little bit more beat up than normal. This does have hacking. It has a ghost uh, little stop in here because it's an NH35 and it doesn't have a day date complication going through the dial. So it'll be two clicks and then it has winding. Not sure if you can hear that on screen. And then, yeah, so trying to get this locked again is a little bit, you know, you have to, it's, it really uh, wreaks havoc on you. Now, there's a Steel Dive makes a version of this watch. I believe it's a little bit bigger in diameter, and they put a man-sized crown on it. So they took some liberties. It also has a date complication at the 4 o'clock, which I really like. Uh, they did make them originally where it has a black uh, date dial, which is nice because it blends in, but now the only ones you can find have the white. So I've, I've been on the fence about picking one of those up. If I was going to wear these, I probably would wear the steel dive just because it's a little bit larger on my wrist. Um, you know, the whole wrist size thing is really, it's an issue. I just like watches that are in that over 40 millimeters and really, you know, 41, 42 to 46 or so is really the sweet spot on me. Let's get to the specs. And actually, I'll take this one off here and let me put the, uh, let 
me put this one on my wrist real quick for you as well. As I'm putting this on, I just wanted to show you guys something I've been doing lately with the band. I'll pull it all the way through, and then I'll loop this over the top here and tuck it under. Instead of coming through and back, I'm just doing this. See that? And then forcing that through. You have to work it a little bit, and then that seems to stay well and look neater. That's just my thing. So here it is on a seven and five eighths to seven and three quarters inch wrist, depending on the day. <laughs> I guess the temperature outside and all that other good stuff. Keeping in mind, I think that the aspect ratio of the lens on the screen makes it look larger than it appears to me when I'm looking at it on my own wrist. And you guys know I've been making those bun straps lately, so uh, that's one of the reasons is it just it eats up the space more on my wrist and looks better. I really prefer leather on my wrist, but let's get back to the specs on this, all right? Turn this on. See that? Always zero it. There we go. So let's just take this off the strap completely. It's one of the nice things about these NATO straps. The difference in straps is interesting to me by the way, on these two watches. Uh, the Thorn is thicker, stiffer, more robust. Just so you know. Thorn uh, did this interesting thing on their case back. Um, uh, where there is a will, there is a way. Some people don't like this sort of thing. It's their thing. They've got their logo on here. NH35. 200 meter water resistance. Let's get the specs out of the way. Case. Just double check this here. Yeah, so 39 millimeter case on this. Thickness is... 13.5 this tiny little crown 4.8 millimeter crown I mean that is it's practically microscopic wait a second even worse yeah 4.8 crown lug width 20 mil so I mean I, I don't know that that's right that might be a change I I I could be wrong, but I thought that the original uh, Blanc Pond only had an 18 millimeter. But you guys can correct me on that. Uh, lug to lug on this thing. 50 mil this way across, uh, lug to lug. So there are your specs on that. Let's see, just for the heck of it, what the dimensions are on uh, this watch. This is the True North version of the Tornek Revell. It should be pretty much exactly the same. We are still at zero. Well, there you go, 40.4. So, you know, about a millimeter wider. 13.3, that was pretty close, right? What do we have on this one here? 13.5, all right. The lug width, probably 20, I would guess. Yeah, 20 mil. Now the crown, much, much nicer on this watch as far as size goes. 6.4 mil. Your lug to lug uh, outside, 50. So that's about the same, right? Yep. These cases appear to be identical no 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 I take that back and you can see the height of the bezel oh, this isn't focusing all right it's definitely taller on the true north company watch and the but the dome is higher 
on the Blanc Pond copy uh, made by Thorne. So it's interesting. On the back of this case, it's it's cool. Again, you'll see this on the review I did. They basically mimicked the original case back on the uh, Torneck Revelle from 1962, again, for the Navy SEALs. You know, return to the nearest military facility, radioactive uh, because of the loom. And they mimicked the uh, look of it. Uh, the original watch had a separate case back and a separate ring around the outside that pulled this in tight to the O-ring. But this is not two pieces. This is all one piece. But I lo really like that they took the time to do that. I'm telling you, they did all this, but then they didn't do a screw-down crown. If they just would have done a screw-down crown and made this 200-meter water resistant, this would be the one to have for sure. Still a beautiful watch, and for the price, it's awesome. So I still recommend it. But this, uh, I just needed to have this. I wanted to have this in my hands and feel it. And then, uh, you know, I, you know I, I, I like this better because it does have the screw-down crown, but I just... I mean, I think everybody's on the same page with this. We appreciate the fact that they did a you know, pretty exact copy, including the tiny crown, but it's a hassle. So I think what Steel Dive did is uh, something a little bit nicer. I mean, uh, Redune might have one of these. Redune has kind of a 62 Moss uh, homage that's, in my opinion, a little bit nicer than the Steel Dive version. But the Steel Dive version of this particular watch it's it's a little bit bigger and it's it's got a larger crown and i, I mean, it might even be 300 meter uh, water resistance i'm not sure people get upset with me when i talk about other watches while i'm showing one watch but i can't help it i'm, t I'm thinking all these things out in my mind but this is the thorn homage to the blanc pond it's got that vintage loom going on I guess I better do some loom for you too, huh? Let's get that out of the way right quick. Well, there's your loom on the thorn. Copy of the Blanc Pond. It's pretty nice. And one of the things I, I need to point out is on a you know, on a dive style watch, you, it's really nice to have loom on the second hand because you can tell that the watch is working. Some of the distortion from the lens on here for you is one of my favorite things about these watches with the domed crystal. The light changing is just the uh, camera trying to do its best job. Uh, not always what you want it to do, but uh, you understand. Pretty cool. Well, I'll compare it really quick to the True North. Uh, personal preference, I do prefer the blue. As far as color goes, but uh, you know, you can clearly see that the thorn has a brighter loom on it. Keeping in mind, and I'm not knocking it, I'm just saying that the True North on your right. It is more of a fashion watch just because it doesn't have the screw down. I keep mentioning that. I'm not trying to, you know, give it a bunch of crap. I'm just saying. Most of us are not diving. It doesn't matter. I believe it says it's 100 meter water resistant. But yeah, that thorn, you just can't beat it. I mean, you can get the thorn at AliExpress for around $100. Um, that's just, it's too good of a deal, you know? So if you're looking for a class, if you're into watches, if you're into dive watches, if you're into the history of it, you can't go wrong with that thorn. It's a great watch, screw down crown, the whole thing. Your only pet peeve for this, uh, the only knock is going to be, you know, uh, that tiny crown. So I might get the steel dive at some point, And if I do, and if I still have these uh, on hand, I'll do a comparison with all of them. But that's it for now. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, this whole Palooka watch channel thing is fun for me. Uh, I'm getting more into the leather bands now, the bun bands, the watch cuffs, the gladiator watch cuff. So, and I think divers look really cool on them. Um, 
So stay tuned on that. I've got some really cool stuff coming, and a lot of this will be available for sale. Once again, have a great day. Be kind to one another. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.